Today we're going to take a look at the Dallara Grand National car. This was built by Gary Dallara in the mid to late 90s. Gary Dallara also worked with Vic Edelbrock in the early 90s to build an Edelbrock sprint car that was very popular. Um, after he split off with Edelbrock, he went on his own to build uh, Grand Nationals, sprint cars, even a Super Modified. Today we're going to take an intimate look at the Grand National. The first thing that we're going to review is the actual physical dimensions of this car. This is a quarter scale RC car, which is the only size scale cars that I have in my garage. Um, this was a somewhat popular scale in the early 80s to late 90s, and there are still some RC cars built today to these dimensions. The wheelbase of this particular vehicle is 25 and a quarter inches. That's pretty normal. Uh, usually quarter scale RC cars run in the 25 to 27 inch range for on-road vehicles, dragsters, top fuel funny cars, that kind of stuff gets a little bit bigger. Um, the overall length of this car without a body is 45 inches. So you can see that's quite a bit bigger than your standard 8th scale or 10th scale vehicle. The track width on this car is 18 and a half inches. One of the notable features of the Dallara Grand National is its full tube chassis. The uh, main frame rails are made out of a square stock tubing, while the rest of the supports and cage are made out of a 3 8 chrome molly tubing. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of detail to the frame. Um, there's a, it looks just like a full-size car, and uh, the detail to attention is just extraordinary on this vehicle. Another thing is, is the front end of this car. Uh, all the parts were polished, very fine aluminum uh, components were used. It has a uh, sway bar system, and something pretty unique to this vehicle is uh, it doesn't have coilover shocks. Generally, the cars in this scale, they used uh, coilover shocks, where he decided to use an uh, independent uh, shock absorber with some springs on the side that were adjustable for ride height. This is the only quarter scale car that was built this way. The engines that were used in these cars were a Kawasaki 22cc two-stroke engine. Generally, in this scale, the Zenoa was very dominant. There were some other engines used as well, and this is just one of those variations. Looking at the rear of the car, these cars housed a Schellinger quick-change rear end. These rear ends were used in sprint cars, Grand Nationals, and such, generally higher-end cars. Um, it, uh, the cover comes off, you can uh, change out the gears on it for different gear ratios. It's got a ring and pinion in it, spiral bevel, just like a full size car does. An extremely scale rear end. These, um, you can also see back here, there are no coilovers, it's just shock absorbers with the uh, separate springs. As well as, uh, it has a single disc brake. And uh, just a very, very nice piece. Um, these cars ran a tune pipe off the engine as well. The Dallara cars use a little bit special wheel. Usually these, car, these type of cars came with spun aluminum wheels or maybe plastic wheels. These are actually a steel powder coated wheel that were designed to look just like the full size Bassett style wheels. They even came with this really cool pin striping from the factory. And that is the Dallara Grand National.